Greetings, ladies and gentlemen and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215. And right now, we are currently in Valdosta, Georgia. We're going to be doing a driving tour of the Valdosta, Georgia area. We're in the southwestern part of Georgia. We're on Norman Drive, and we just passed Business Parkway. This is like a little commercial strip. We got a Hampton Inn and Suites on my right. We just passed Walmart. We just passed the Cold Cat Electric Membership Company on my left. We're passing Meeting Place. We got Rainwater Conference Center on my right hand side. We got a Honda dealership on my left hand side. We're gonna try to head over to a neighborhood within the area. We got some property for sale on my left hand side, 10 plus acres. On the way over here from Florida, I saw a lot of 183 acres for sale. Now, that's a lot of acres. On my right hand side, you can head to Interstate 75. On my left, we got a McDonald's. On my right, we got a construction site. They're working on a gas station. We're at the intersection of Norman Drive and West Hill Ave. We're gonna make this left hand turn. Across the street, we got a Days Inn on my left-hand side. We have a Pizza Hut and a Super 8. I believe that corresponds with the Days Inn. They're motels. And there's a Holiday Inn, so I think you got a variety of options, whether you want to stay at a motel or a hotel. What do you guys prefer, hotels or motels? I know there's a huge price difference, but they all do the same thing. They allow you to sleep, so. We have a Sunoco gas station on my right hand side. Gas is going for $3.24 per gallon. The weather today is roughly 71 degrees. We have a Metro trailer passing us. I think that's Optimus Prime's long lost relative. On my left hand side, which we will be passing shortly, we have a Waffle House. Have any of you eaten at Waffle House? What else do they sell at Waffle House other than waffles? I've never eaten there, but I've always heard about it. I'm assuming they sell waffles, you know? They better sell waffles. We got an IHOP next to us also with uh, Wing Street. We got a sit go gas station on my left with a liquor store. We got a Shoney's Super Value Inn. And we got a Big 7 Motel. And we got a Comfort Inn on my right. So we got several different places you can stay at. We got a Wendy's on my left. We got a Bigfoot Travel Center on my left. And we got a food market. The gas station is going for $3.23 a gallon. We got a Bojangles Famous Chicken and Biscuits on my right. South Georgia Grand Night Indoor Showroom. Second drive to your right. We got a truck accessories business on my left. We're still on the main road as you can see. We got Restored Treasures, Upscale Thrift on my right hand side, and a Sonic, America's Drive-In. I've only eaten at a Sonic about a handful of times in my life. We got a South Georgia Granite on my right and an R&R Tire Express on my left. We got a HunterOutdoorConnections.com on my right and a store more portable buildings as well as a Max Steel Buildings. I think they sell like portable shelters, like sheds and stuff, and barns. Starting off at $6 per square foot. We have a West Side Auto Sales on my left hand side. In front of us we have a West Hill Food Market. That's a gas station. Gas is going for $3.15 regular, and I believe if you pay with a credit card, $3.25. We have a gigantic sign in front of us. It's a billboard advertising mac and cheese, $4.99. It looks like a plate of mac and cheese. Do you like mac and cheese? What's your favorite mac and cheese? Yellow mac and cheese or white mac and cheese? That's from Fazoli's, $4.99. We just passed St. Augustine Road. We got Mark Jack's Liquors on my left. We got Wisen Baker's Garage on my right. They specialize in brakes, oil changes, tune-ups, air conditioner repair, and more. We just passed Jack's Attic, which is a thrift store. We 
got West Hill Plaza on my right. Harmon's Awards on my left. They have VHSs. That's pretty cool. You don't see many places advertising VHSs. How many of you still have a VCR? We just passed West Hill Auto Collisions. We got a ambulance about to pass us, so I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna allow the ambulance to go by because they're trying to save a life. And we can help them save a life by slowing down and pulling over to the side. So we have a yellow South Georgia Medical Center ambulance. And we got a car right behind me that is flying. He doesn't care that I pulled over. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to go with the ambulance. We're passing Family Soul. This is the vehicle right there on my right hand side. We got White Brothers Auto Warehouse on my left hand side and we got Hope Travel on my right. We're passing United Van Lines. And we got Window World on my left hand side. With church, First Baptist Church. Jo Joseph Sunny Vickers Overpass. That's what we're passing right now. We're about two minutes away from a little area that we can take a look at. I'm traveling at normal speed. I gotta go with traffic because we're on the main road. We're about to pass Third Street. We just passed Third Street. We're on West Hill Ave, the 600 block of West Hill Ave. We got Economy Tire on my right hand side. We got Morning Glory on my right hand side. Triumph Ministry, it's a church. I see an eyeball on my right hand side. Is that an eyeball? No, that's a pool ball. That was a billiards club. It looked like an eyeball from afar. We're passing Briggs Street. We're approaching North Oak Street, the intersection of West Hill Ave and North Oak Street. We have an advanced muffler shop on my left hand side with a budget in another motel, ladies and gentlemen. We got Sebastian Grill and Wings on my left. We got office equipment on my right. This is Lee's office equipment. You got an old gas station on my left that kind of looks abandoned, but it's the old style gas station. It's still got a fresh Coca-Cola machine out front. And it looks like it might be open. All right, we're at Tombs, T-O-O-M-B-S, Tombs and West Hill Ave. We got a bank OZK on my left-hand side. Who do you bank with? Have you ever heard of OZK? This is my first time hearing OZK over here in South Georgia. We're approaching Junction uh, 41. The skies aren't bad. Blue skies, some scattered clouds, but clear for the most part. All right, so I'm gonna try to slow down here with the exception of traffic. You know, we got traffic behind me. Hopefully they did decide to go around me. This looks like a little uh, town area. We're passing South Patterson. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn on North Ashley. We have a grocery on my left. I'm gonna make this left right here on Ashley. We got a suit store on my right, GQ high style fashion. We got looking good on my left. We got tuxedo rentals on my left. We got different strokes, paint and art studio on my right. We got several boutiques. We got El Paso, Mexican food on my left. Check out this Dosta, Sleepy Hollow. It's a playhouse. Check it out, it looks like a theater. Theater Guild of Valdosa, that's pretty cool, right? Look at the parking on the street. The parking veers all the way out to here. You see them lines on the street? They look like a T. We're approaching East Central Ave. I got a bunch of traffic behind me, so please forgive me. I'm traveling 12 miles an hour. We're passing North Ashley and East Central. We're approaching Valley Street. I am going to try and make a left here if possible. Let's see if that's possible. Yes, it looks possible. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn here. We're gonna to try to circle this area for a little bit, see what it looks like. We got John G. Edwards, attorney at law, am I right? Law office. We got the First United Methodist Church over here on my left-hand side alive together in christ we're at north patterson and east valley all right we got a blinking yellow hand to turn left 
left turn yield on flashing yellow arrow so we're going to yield as we turn approach with caution we're making a left hand turn on north patterson So right now we're approaching West Central Ave and North Patterson. We got Moe's Mediterranean Table on my right hand side. We got Downtown Salon and Wellness. So I'm assuming this is probably like their downtown area. All right, we are now passing West Central Ave. We have a Steel Magnolias on my right, a Stefferson Jewelry on my right hand side, a Blue Cafe on my left hand side. We're passing many boutiques and eateries. We got Perfectly Priscilla on my right, Health Life on my left. We're now passing Hill Ave, the intersection of South Patterson and Hill Ave. We got an angry driver on my left hand side. I'm gonna try to make a right hand turn coming up here. There's an overpass bridge that I do not wanna pass. So I'm gonna make this right over here. This is just gonna veer us off just so we can get back to the neighborhood. That would've took us over an overpass that I did not wanna pass right now. We got RX Barnes Drugs on my left hand side. Let's see if I can find an exit over here. There should be an exit according to my calculations. We're actually driving through a parking lot. All right, we got the back of Lee's office equipment on my left hand side. We got a church over here in front of us. Let me go straight so we can take a look at this church. I don't think we saw this church. I know we saw a church, but I don't think this is the church. Dog Heart Service on my left hand side, auto service. We're at the intersection of West Hill and North Tombs. This is downtown Valdosta. Play local. I see a banner that reads downtown Valdosta. So there's parking on my left. There's a sign that reads parking. I guess you could probably pay for parking down here. I don't know why one would want to come down to downtown Valdosta, but I guess maybe to do some local shopping, eat at some cafes and whatnot. We're gonna go right, we have a police officer of Valdos, the police officer that just passed us. On my left, we have a huge church, beautiful church on West Central Ave and Toon Street, First Baptist Church. There's another Baptist church, right? We, we, didn't, we didn't see this Baptist church. So they got two Baptist churches within a block or two of each other. We're at the 200 block of West Valley Street. I am thinking of making a right-hand turn. I'm gonna make this right-hand turn. We're gonna check out more of their quote unquote downtown area. We got AT&T on my left hand side with a giant cell phone tower up top. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. We can make a right on red here. There's no sign that states otherwise. We got some Spanish moss hanging off of the trees on my left hand side. Handicap parkers on my right hand side. We got Lowndes County Governmental Building on my left. We're stopping at the intersection of East Valley Street and North Patterson. So I believe we went down North Patterson. That's where the traffic was insisting that we drive faster. So we're gonna drive street. I see a church down there once again. Another sports car in front of us, we got a Corvette. We had a couple sports cars that uh, Charger that drove by us, and then there was also a Camaro, a, a late model Camaro, and then that Corvette. We got a dry cleaners on my left hand side, Big B dry cleaners. They specialize in wash, dry, fold, alterations, pickup and delivery available. It looks like they might be doing some work on my right hand side at what's that the Lowndes County Courthouse yeah, it is the Lowndes County governmental building on my left so across the street on my right hand side that's the Lowndes County Courthouse that building on my right you see it that's the courthouse guys 
See these big dumpsters? That's why I said it looks like they might be doing some work because you gotta get permits and all that to have these dumpsters. But then again, if you're at a courthouse, I don't think that'll be a problem. Uh, this is North Ashley Street. Let's drive past Ashley Street. We went through Ashley Street. We saw the theater. We had a gentleman right here in a bright fluorescent orange sweater, boots, and some khaki jeans. Looked like he was in his work attire. All right, we are now approaching the intersection of North Lee and East Valley. We got Central Avenue Church of Christ in front of us. I'm gonna make this right-hand turn because I'm getting the vibe that most of the downtown district is on my right-hand side. And this is a lot smaller downtown district than what I'm used to. But then again, down south, I was told that they live a more slower-paced lifestyle than we do in the big cities. Let's make this right-hand turn on Lee. We got Valdosta City Hall on my right-hand side. Wow, we're definitely in the downtown area because this is City Hall. We got a heart. See that heart? Sculpture on my right hand side. Let's make this right hand turn on East Central Ave. We got a police officer behind us. All right, we're back on Ashley. We got Western Auto on my right hand side. They sell like lawnmowers and things of that nature. The police officer is going to pass us in three, two, one. See them? Valdosta Police. We're on East Alley. This is actually a street. This is East Alley on my left and on my right. It looks it, like an alley, like what it says, East Alley. It's actually an alley, guys. So we'll go straight another block. We can't go left, so we'll go straight another block. Let's, let's merge left so we can make a left-hand turn. And we already went through Patterson. Let's go up another block or so. Look, we got a bunch of businesses on my left and on my right. Small businesses, but they're businesses. We're gonna merge left. We got Law's Furniture on my left-hand side. We're, we're passing Tombs. I'm not gonna make a left on Tombs because we already went through Tombs. We got that church on my right-hand side. We're approaching North Oak. We got Family Life Center First Baptist Church again on my left-hand side. Many churches. We're approaching North Oak Street. We got an RV on my right hand side. Looks like an older class A. I'm gonna slow down so that you guys can see it. Bounder by Fleetwood. They're actually towing a vehicle too. They are towing, it looks like a Chevrolet Malibu, if I'm correct. A newer model. Well, an older newer model. I don't want you guys to think it's it's the old 70s Malibu, but it looks like a 2003 Malibu sedan. We got the museum annex on my left-hand side, the Lowndes County Historical Society. We're at the intersection of West Central Ave and North Oaks Street. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn, left turn yield on flashing yellow. We're back at West Hill Ave. I'm not gonna turn left on West Hill Ave. I'm gonna go down another block or two and see if we can catch Ashley from the far side because we entered from West Hill Ave on Ashley. So I'm going to try to go another block or two up, possibly make a left to see how that works out for us. We got Lee's Auto Service and uh, Sales on my right hand side. They repair air conditioners, CV axles, and transmissions. They also do tune ups and more. We got a Mayfield Milk Dairy Farms box truck in front of us, making a right hand turn, turning onto our lane. We're passing West Hill Ave. We got the city of Valdosta Municipal Court on my right, another small courthouse. We're passing Savannah Ave. All right, we're at Crane and Oak. Uh, I'm gonna make this left, something tell me to make a left. I'm sorry about this abrupt left turn. Something told me to make a left because that's a train track over there and that might take us off, of course. We got a female on my left hand side walking in all black scrubs with an ID. She looks like an employee of a medical business. We're at Crane Ave and Tombs Street. On my right, there's a railroad crossing. I'm going to try and stay away from the railroad crossing, at least for this portion. 
Maybe in the second half, we'll, we'll veer off into the outskirts of the downtown area. Uh, what do we have on my right? Is this a street? No, this is not a street. Right hand turn. This is Savannah Ave. Where's Savannah Ave gonna take us? I don't think Savannah Ave's gonna allow us to make a left. Let's take it down to Savannah Ave. Let's see where Savannah Ave takes us. This is the 100 block of Savannah Ave. Now, mind you, we're in Georgia, where on the eastern portion of Georgia you have Savannah, Georgia. If you haven't checked out our few Savannah, Georgia tours, check them out. They're on the page. Gentleman in a Ram truck. Looks like he's unloading some uh, equipment. It says right turns only. So this set us up for failure, <laughs> almost. Right turns only. Unless we go straight. Can we go straight and cross over this uh, passage right here? It looks very possible to do so. I think I'm going to try to do that. Because on my right, there is that overpass. And I don't want to go through that overpass. I would love to just go left. So let's try to go straight. Let's see if we can get pulled over by the police. Let's cross over. That looked feasible, didn't it? I would hope it wasn't an illegal move. All right, we're on Ashley Street. Remember I said I wanted to enter Ashley Street through the rear side, if that makes any sense. Let's make this left-hand turn. On the 100 block of Ashley, we got Coleman Tally Attorneys on my right. Three-story brick building. We're approaching Hill Ave. Let's go to the right-hand side, because we saw this side of Ashley, let's go on the right hand side. We'll cross over this area of Ashley and then we will probably go three block stop, shoot left, and then see what the area looks like. Let's start exploring a little bit more of the area. We got HP Salon on my left. It looks like a barber shop for men and women, possibly. We got Southern Style Sassy Boutique on my left hand side. I see the mail carrier crossing the street. Georgia Power, that white pickup truck was from Georgia Power. I'm assuming that that's for the power station. And we had the Valdosta code enforcement on my right hand side, past us also. Making room for Christmas trees. There's a sign written in chalk on this blackboard on my left hand side. Hanging baskets for five bucks. How many of you have a hanging basket of plants in your house? And if your answer is yes to that question, why do you have a hanging basket of plants? I'm just curious. I've got a beautiful vintage clock on my right. You see it? It's like an older clock. We're passing the theater guild once again. We got Cottonwood, Boutique on my right. We got the bistro on my left, which is a bistro. We're passing Central Ave, Lowndes County of Georgia on my left hand side. That's the, one of the courthouses. We're passing Ashley. We have a gentleman on my right hand side, layered in several layers of clothing. Jody Pearson Law Attorney on my left hand side. Now we're going a little bit further. We're passing Downs County Judicial and Administrative Company on my right. Ashley and Magnolia Street. We're passing Simons and Harrow Certified Public Accountants. We have a huge lot on my right hand side. We got law offices of Sherwood and Sherwood. So we'll take this probably another two blocks and then we'll work our way left to see if we stumble upon some homes possibly. Or if not, like a residential neighborhood. We got Hertz on my right, Subway on my left, Lounge Transmission on my left, Wheelchair tra Transportation on my right, Easy Car Rental and Auto Sales on my right, A1 Air Care on my left, Basic Audio on my right, and JW Auto Repair. DQ Grill and Chill on my right hand side. Boost Mobile on my right. We got Ray's Automotive Repair on my right hand side. We got Adair Street and Ashley. That's what we just passed. ProFit Muffler Center on my left. And we're approaching East Gordon. I said I was gonna make a left in two or three blocks, right? Let's make a left here. 
All right, we're at East Gordon and North Ashley. In front of us, we got Pops Auto Sales. On my left, we got Maluda Auto Sales. Established credit here. Left turn, yield on flashing yellow arrow. We got Title Max, Title Pawn on my right-hand side, where you can take your title in for some cash. If you don't pay the loan, they repo your vehicle. We got RCA, Electronic Components Authorized Distributor on my right-hand side. We got John D. Holt, PC, Attorney at Law on my left. We got Music Center Performance Academy on my left. Central, Slater, and Gordon Street. So we got a building on my right-hand side that was boarded up. Beautiful looking building, it was boarded. Looks like we may be passing what looks to be like houses. We still got some Valdosta State University, like some city buildings on my right. It's the Valdosta State University. Looks very small. We're passing Patterson Street. Let's take this a little further. This past Patterson. We're traveling on Gordon, we're on the 100 block of Gordon. Passing Furniture Express on my left. We got Jordan Salon and Day Spa Inc. on our left. Passing Tombs, Gordon and Tombs. We got Law Office of Jennifer E. William on my right. And we got a Sitgo gas station on my left. $3.35 per gallon. We got called to child care on my right. Adoption, foster care, and missions for hurting children. We got Tom Davis used cars on my left-hand side across the street. All right, so I think we're going to continue to travel forward and see what this area has to offer. I was interested in starting off the tour in like the downtown area, just so that you guys can see what it looks like. I don't think we covered the whole entire downtown area, but I showed you guys a tad bit. We got somebody beeping. Oh, we had a cool classic on my left, Lex Classic pickup truck with some extremely wide drag racing radial rear tires. I wish I would have been able to show it to you. It was bright yellow. Like a banana yellow. We're passing Johnson. We're passing Sestella Ave. Let me make this right in Sestella Ave because that's an interesting name. Sestella. Sestella Ave. Speed limit is 30 miles per hour. We're traveling approximately 10 miles per hour. Watch for children. Indeed, we will do so. Palm trees on my right. Yes, Georgia does have palm trees tropical plants all right for starters the center aisle of the street has tree branches full of Spanish moss hanging so depends on your outlook on Spanish moss whether it being creepy or whether it being beautiful this may or may not be a beautiful or creepy street I say creepy because in Jeepers Creepers there's a lot of Spanish moss hanging everywhere we got Sestella and Sestella Ave and Sestella Lane we got a car behind us. Let's make this right on Force Street. Sestella and Force. We're gonna turn right on Force. There's a speaker called EV, Electro Voice. It's a pro voice and concert speaker. I used to love using them in my car even though they're an opera and concert hall speaker. They make an EV Force, Electro Voice Force model. It looks like we're in a residential zone. We got a basketball court on my left hand side. Private property on my left hand side. There's a sign 418 Forts Street. We have houses with vinyl siding. They appear to be one story, possibly with an attic. Front lawns. We got an abandoned house right here on my left hand side. It's boarded up. Check it out. No trespassing. Plenty of Spanish moss. We got a two-story building on my right that looks to be an apartment apartment a b and c with a driveway and all that good stuff we got a two-story building on my right hand side final side it one story building on my left approaching a very short short stop sign i think we're taller than the stop sign we're at Force and Johnson Street. Let's make this left-hand turn on the 1,000 block of Johnson Street. And we got 
got houses on my left. It looks to be houses on my right, driveways, green grass surrounding the property, street side mailboxes. Some of them aren't in the best of shape, I might admit. Like we got border houses on my right. Check it out. So close to the downtown area, surprising. Oh, we got a beautiful dog on my right hand side. Oh, he's gorgeous. He's just sitting there. Is 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 he chained up? How you doing, buddy? You all right? You all right? You're so beautiful. You don't even have a chain around your neck. Your owners trust you that much to not run in the street. He's not wearing a collar or anything. I'm gonna allow him to stay there because I don't want to take him off his guard and he get hit by a car following me. But that's a beautiful dog. I wish I had something to give him. Oh man. It's like you, like you never know, like you know. But then again, the owners might feel some type of way if you give them food. Wow, that's a trained dog. That dog was just sitting on the corner near a main intersection at Mary Street and Johnson Street, next to a cemetery. Look, there's a cemetery right here. Wow, that's amazing. That was a gorgeous dog, black dog. Looks so calm. Looks so peaceful. Normally, I would have a full conversation with a dog, but I didn't want to disturb him too much and then lure him to the street side. You know, distract him from his posts. That's amazing that the owners trusted their dog enough to sit out there with no leash. That's mind blowing. Mind blowing. Normally I see him with a leash. I mean, it's cool because he's free. I like that part. I like the part that he's free. That he's not chained up. You know, the dog has free will to walk around whatever part of the yard he wants. We're at West Street and West Mary Street. Let's make this left here. We got a vehicle behind me. I'm gonna allow them to pass us. We got a field on my right. The Valdosta State University Athletic Field Club on my right with a football field. Got a Mustang on my right with Florida tags. We're not far from Florida. About an hour and some change from Florida. We're at West Street and Sestella. Remember Sestella? I can go straight or I can go left. I think I'm gonna go straight. Valdosta State. Wow, a football field on my right. A lot of these houses look a little run down. Let's make this right on Lily Street. We're at West Street and Lily Street. A lot of Spanish malls hanging. Plenty of greenery, plenty of agriculture. We're at Lily and Nicholas Drive, the 1000 block of Nicholas Drive. Let's make this left hand turn on Nicholas Drive. Watch for children. We're traveling approximately seven miles per hour. We have one story homes on my left and on my right. These look like they're in better shape. They have bricks. Some of them have shutters for appearance purposes. Driveways, little uh, bird water ponds. Oh, yeah, I guess you can say bird feeders. We're at the intersection of Gordon and Nicholas Drive. Let's make this right hand turn on Gordon. We started off on Gordon, remember before we turn? So let's go back on Gordon. We got more houses on my left hand side. I'm just venturing off into the abyss. I don't know exactly where I'm going. We got a gigantic box TV on my right. The big screen TV. Looked like they were disposing of it. We got a house on my left with a handicap ramp entrance telling me that it's wheelchair accessible. We're on People Street. <laughs> Let's make this left on People Street instead of going right. Let's turn left on People Street. Spelled P-E-E-P-L-E-S. People Street. I wonder if we'll see any people outside on people's street do you have any peoples on people street we're now at monroe street and peoples the intersection of monroe and peoples let's make this left hand turn on monroe and see what monroe has to offer us Side on my right hand side, you guys are not gonna see her. She's grilling. 
Oh, she's next to the grill. That's one thing that I can say. I think the grill had a cover on it, so she may not have been grilling, but her hand was on the grill, inferring that she was possibly thinking of grilling. <laughs> They're like, too, but she was probably just leaning on the grill, buddy. All right, so these mailboxes are fortified with bricks. I've seen four of them fortified with bricks. See, one on the left is tipped over. You see it? Like somebody hit it. One story house is on my left, one story house is on my right. We got a trampoline on my left hand side. We have a resident on my left hand side with a sweatsuit and a vest. She's talking to what looks to be like her grandchildren on my left hand side. Yeah, her kid kicked the ball in the street. So she was looking out for her child or her grandchild, I should say. We're at West Street and Monroe Street. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on West Street, the 900 block of West Street. We got a building on my left that's boarded up. We're now approaching West and Adair Street. I dare you to come to Adair Street. We got the House of God Church on my left hand side. Let's make this right hand turn on a dare, the 600 block of a dare street. Have you guys ever played truth or dare? What would you rather pick, truth or dare? We got Datis Billard on my right hand side. That center block building that was, that was closed down looked like a biller club, or once was a biller club, probably like a small pool hall. We got a bunch of one story houses on my right and my left hand side. Most of the cars are parked on the private property. We got an abandoned house on my left. Boarded, small and abandoned. We got an abandoned house. We just passed one on my right. Looked at boarded. The houses on my left look relatively small. Like a single family home. I would say, I would estimate the, the, the coordinates or the perimeter to be 14 feet wide by maybe 16 feet long. We're approaching People Street. We're at Adair and People Street. We got a small fire hydrant on my right hand side, gray with green cap. We're entering the 800 block of Adair. Let's keep going straight. We just passed Peoples. We got street side mailboxes. What type of mailboxes do you guys prefer? Do you prefer to have a street side mailbox a doorway mailbox at your doorstep or one of those community mailboxes where you got to walk to the corner and there's like 20 mailboxes all together and you got to get your mail from there which one do you prefer all right so we can make a left or we can make a right we are at lamar street let us make this left hand turn on lamar street we got a house on my right hand side we got some sheds on my left hand side. Stop at the stop sign. This looks like a little bridge. Yes, we will be passing a bridge. There's a weight limit. 10 ton, 12 ton, 15 ton, 16 ton weight limit. Well, I don't think we weigh that much in the smart car. So we're passing over this little bridge. It actually doesn't even look like there's water down there. It's just a lot of green uh, plantation growing. We're approaching Oliver Street, Lamar and Oliver Street. We got a small house on my right hand side. We got some tree limbs cut down on my left hand side. We're approaching Magnolia Street. We're at Lamar Street and Magnolia. I'm going to Let's see, we can go straight. Let's let's go left. Let's go left. Alright, I saw people hanging their clothes on my right hand side on a uh, line. We're at Magnolia and Walnut. Let's make this right on Walnut Street, the 200 block of Walnut Street. We have another wheelchair accessible ramp. We got somebody over here weed whacking the property with a weed whacker. We got a boarded up house on my far left. 
another a wheelchair accessible ramp on my left. A lot of pickup trucks. We got some uh, mobile homes on my left hand side. All right, we're approaching Clark. I'm gonna make this left hand turn on Clark. It looks like we got some type of, I don't know, a refinery. You see that, those those tall uh, objects in front of us? They look like they could be part of some type of refinery. I don't know what they're working on in there, but that's behind this grass wall over here. We're approaching Chandler Street. I guess I could take you guys through Chandler Street before I take you back to the main road. Let's make this left on Chandler and see what Chandler looks like. This is Clark and Chandler. We're in the 200 block of Chandler Street. Well, for these being small blocks, there's a lot of green uh, everywhere. That's, that's all I see. I see green. I see more green than I actually see properties. The properties are a little bit, I would say, worn. The vinyl siding... The rooftops, the porches, they look uh, aged, if that's the correct term. Oh, another dog sitting out here without a leash. Oh my gosh. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Good boy. Wow, that was another dog just sitting out there without a leash. I'll tell you one thing. These uh, Georgian people trust their dogs outside without leashes. Goldwyn Service on my left. Goldwyn Services. Wow. That was another dog. That was a pit bull out there without a leash. Just sitting there very calmly. That's neat. It, it's a little nerve-wracking for, for me because, you know, I hope the dog don't run in the street and get hit by a car. And I guess they're not worried about their, their, their dogs getting snatched up. <laughs> Let's make this right. Let's go through Mills. This is Mills. The 500 block of Mills and Magnolia. Oh, there's like three, four dogs on my left-hand side. They better be leashed up because this is an open yard. Get out of here. Right here on my left-hand side. Look at this. Look at all those dogs. Wow. And they're trying to hump each other. Five of them. Hi, guys. You guys are beautiful. Wow, there's six dogs. You guys are beautiful. Wow, that is amazing. There's six dogs out there, and they're all trying to hump this, this one dog. Uh-oh. They're running to the street side, though. Yo, yo, they're all running to the street. There's one, two, three, four, five, six dogs out here. Wow, some people might say that that's hoarding. <laughs> wow. And there's two dogs in front of us in the middle of the street. Hold on, is this a neighborhood with, with stray dogs? How you doing? Good girl, good boy. Good boy, good girl. There's a great Labrador Retriever. Wow, I've never seen a gray one. Wow. There's a lady over here that's hanging her laundry. She kind of gave me like, like the eye from the corner. Like, what's this strange person doing? We're at Mills and Short. Get out of here. Don't tell me that this neighborhood has dogs just roaming free. Maybe that's why we keep on seeing, seeing dogs on people's lawns. Because they're probably just chillaxing. I'm the whole time thinking that first dog we saw was the owner's dog. For all I know, that was a straight up. There's two more dogs over here, puppies. What's up, guys? How you doing, boy? You all right? You all right, buddy? Good boy. Good boy. You all right? Can I pet you? No? Yo, there's dogs running straight here, guys. There's two pit bulls, like teen teenagers over here on my left-hand side. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? There's a car be here behind me. Oh, they're following? They're following? I'm about to allow traffic there to go by. Yo, they ain't letting you. You alright, buddy? You alright? You're about to get hit by a car, dude. Watch it. <laughs> Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Wow, 
know, yo, there's puppy pit bulls running around here. This is crazy. And then that car in front of us looked at me like if I was crazy for, for they literally drove by and shook their head. Like if I was doing something wrong. Uh, there's a Monte Carlo in there. There's an 87 Monte Carlo. I see it. Super Sport. Oh, and there's a punch buggy, no punch buggy. There's a Volkswagen Beetle. Yo, that is crazy. They got dogs just roaming free around here, yo. Oh, man. That's, that's, that's kind of sad because, you know, one of them looked at a little bit thin. We're at River Mills. Or River Street and Mills Lane. That was incredible. Wow, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't expect to drive to a, to a neighborhood and see a dozen stray dogs. Okay, so we are currently passing Summerlin Street. Uh, let's take this straight down and see what other type of things we see over here. Hopefully no more stray dogs. But imagine if I wouldn't have turned through those little blocks, we would have never saw those stray dogs in abundance. And I say they were possibly stray because they didn't have collars. Some, several of them didn't have collars. I would say like two of them had collars. Out of the, out of the 12 that we saw, two of them had collars. All right, we're now approaching High Tower Street. Let's pass High Tower. We got a Baptist church on my right hand side. We're passing John W. What's this Saunders Memorial Park on my left hand side. We'll go down probably another block or two and then We'll start exploring the little areas. We're passing Blitch Street, B-L-I-T-C-H, Blitch Street. We're on River. Beck Street, River and Beck. We're passing Dogwood. I think that would've been a cool street to go through, Dogwood. Let's make this right on Holloway Drive. Let's see what Holloway Drive looks like. Well, we got another dog on my right, but it's behind a fence, which is cool. <laughs> oh, we got another one. There's two of them. Both of them look furry. But it looked like they were their private dogs, which is cool. See, I'm cool with like leaving them running free. Just at least give them a little protection. Like that little puppy, it was probably my fault too. The puppy started running towards the car and then a, our car was running towards us and then traffic was trying to pass by. And yeah, hence why they probably looked at me and shook their head, but come on. It's dogs, running dogs. All right, so we're approaching Hyde Park Ave. We're on Moss Oak Drive. We got a beautiful tree on our left. You see it? Tall tree. We got a garage on my left. I haven't seen many homes with garages. So that's cool. We got a garage on my left hand side. Ah, we got a stray cat. My first sign of a stray cat right in front of us. Uh, we got a dog in that yard in front of us, too. Dogwood Drive and Moss Oak Drive. There's two little dogs. And they're behind a fence. Is the fence surrounding it completely? Yes. Awesome. See, that's cool. The dogs are, are, are free range. They're, they're in the yard without being chained, but they're behind a fence. So, you know, they can't be hit by a car. But that one block with the seven, eight dogs on the front of the house, they were trying to mate. So they were all trying to hump this this one dog. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Then they're gonna have puppies and they're just gonna grow out here in the wild. 
Alright, we're approaching River Street. We got some cops that just drove by us. The kids wave at the cops. We got two youngsters on my right hand side on pedal bikes. Alright. Oh, we got another set of cops coming by us. Watch. In three, two. That cop was out. Something must have just happened. The kids are laughing. <laughs> Alright, let's make this left hand turn and then let's make a right on Beck. Let's make this left right here on River. We're on River Street and then we're going to make a right on Beck. Beck Street, 200 block of Beck. I should read signs, watch for dogs instead of watch for children. I've barely seen any children, but I saw more dogs than I've seen children. Looks like we got some storm drains right here in the middle of the street. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Right in the middle of the street. All right, I see about eight or so people over here in the street. There's a hump. There's a sign that reads hump, and we got a slope over the hump. There's an abandoned building over here on my left. Look at it. With no roof or anything. We got a few houses on my right. Looks like we got a family over here. From afar, they look like they may possibly be a Hispanic family. And they are. It's, I see, four women, a man, and several children. Yeah, they were, I guess, unloading their vehicle. That was cool. It's cool to see a family together, you know. <clears throat> All right, at the end of the road, one thing I see is an advanced auto parts sign. So we might be hitting a main strip ag again very shortly. It says dead end. Oh, wow, it's a dead end. So we're going to have to make a right. Right there in front of us is a dead end. So let's make this right hand turn. And it takes us to Augustine Road. <laughs> We're not Augustine Road or Augustine. Uh, I prefer to say Augustine. Beck and Augustine. Let's make this right hand turn. Take it back to river. Two lots available, 0.39 acres. Supply on my right hand side. We got a, a shed uh, business on my left since 1984. We got a taco spot on my left too. Azalea City Church of God on my right. Let's make this left hand turn on River Street. Adopt the street Valdosta, a city with limits. Let's make this left hand turn on Simpson. I see Simpson Street. You ever watch The Simpsons growing up? I used to like watching The Simpsons. Who is your favorite Simpson? Obviously, mine would have to probably be Bart. Bart first, then Homer. Then I think. Maggie was cool. <laughs> I gotta go for the baby. And then Lisa. And then Marge. Alright, we got what looks to be like a little residential area. Am I right? But it looks like a mix between homes and mobile homes. Like the mobile homes that you get delivered and they lay down on the foundation. You see right there, am I right? We're approaching LaRue, L-A-R-U-E, LaRue Drive, the 1600 block of LaRue. All right, so let's make this left hand turn on LaRue because it doesn't look like much in front of me. 
that's the thing about the country. It's like everything's so scattered out. We got a bar in Alma, right? business on my left. Let's make this right hand turn on Kelly Drive. LaRue and Kelly Drive. We got a tree house on my right hand side. See? On my right. I don't know if you guys can see the second tree. There's an actual tree house. I guess for the kids. Alright, we're approaching Collin Drive. Kelly Drive and Collin Drive. What is this in the street? It's like a sweater, a piece of cloth, a bag, something in the street. It looks like a towel. As long as it wasn't an animal, we cool. And now that we know that there's dogs running around here, but it was probably that one specific neighborhood. Maybe it's it's an owner who had some dogs and let them go run loose, which kind of sucks. You see how the last one ran towards me when I um, you know, started call, calling it? That's what I didn't want the first one to do, and I ended up doing it anyway. With, we had a little playground on my right. Is it a private playground? Yeah, with God, all things are possible. That's what the sign says. It looks like this might be like a, like a church on my right, like a church school, or is it a private school, a private daycare or something? There's, well, there's parking slots right here, so this might be a business. It's probably like a private daycare center. There's a ball on the street, you see it? Oh, there's swings over here on my right and everything. Yeah, more swings on my right. It's a little barn. Ah, we ended up coming out to the advanced auto parts. Remember that we saw it from the opposite side? So we're at the opposite side of the intersection. Kelly Drive and St. Augustine Road. We got CES Electrical Company on my left hand side, which is City Electric Supply. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on Murray Dukes Auto Parts. Murray Dukes Auto Parts next to Advanced Auto Parts. Let's make this right once again on Bald. This Bald Street. Oh, we got a cat. We got a straight cat. A black cat. Do you believe black cats are bad luck? If so, when I was. 10 my pop got me two of them for my 10th birthday I had two of them I named them midnight in trouble they were both girls this one on my left looks a little beat up like it's been <laughs> been uh, jumped a couple times but I ain't ever really believed black cats were bad luck we have Mauled and Jordan I'm gonna allow this parent to walk by with her child Yeah, I had Midnight in Trouble. Uh, Midnight was shy. She was chubbier. She didn't really allow you to touch her much. Trouble was skinnier, really flexible, playful, and loved to like, like play a lot. I guess that's where the name Trouble came from. Yeah. We're at West Hill Ave and Jordan Street. We are upscale thrift across the street. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. It looks like we got a little business strip over here with a dozen or so businesses. Restored Treasures Upscale Thrift on the left. Oh, this looks very familiar. This looks like where we started out. We got the Bigfoot Travel Center, the Waffle House, the Bojangles. Yup. The Bubba Jack's Crab Shack on my right. We got a gentleman with a lime green skelly riding by his bicycle. Let's make this right on Hazelton Street. We got uh, come data tea check. It looks like a little gas station on my left. And we reached our one hour mark, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, we did not cover the whole entire downtown Valdosta district. We did not cover the whole entire um, town, city. 
and or neighborhoods. We, we can't cover it all within one hour. But we're gonna do our best. We'll probably hit another two tours here within the area. So make sure you turn on the notification bell, hit that subscribe button, show some love. Let me know your thoughts, share your uh, ponders. Whatever you were pondering while you were watching this, if anything stood out to you most, let me know. Leave it in the comment section, engage with each other, talk amongst each other. And yeah, this is your homeboy Toon, Mr. Toon Dallas, Toon Ski. Tunism, Tunster, Tune is very thankful to have you watching, and I'm tuning up.